In the modern gaming era, whether you're a longtime collector or new to the scene, there is one thing that we all need to be careful about. So with that in mind, let me give you a few tips and tricks on how to spot a fake cartridge in the wild. And I see no better place to start than with the N64 itself. Now there are a lot of different ways to tell the differences between an authentic N64 cartridge and a reproduction one. Some of these differences may be obvious to you, some may not. It all depends on the effort that the person is willing to go through when making the repros. But before we even take a look at the repros, let's take a look online to see what sort of things you should look out for. There's one thing that should immediately stand out as a red flag, and that's where it's shipping from. Let's say you have a US game that says it's shipping from China. Well, there's actually a pretty good chance that that one could be fake. Another clue that you might be getting a fake is if the item itself is listed as brand new, however the seller's not actually showing you pictures of the box or the seal, instead they're just showing you stock images. Another tip for online shopping is to check what the seller actually has. Chances are if they have 20 copies of Super Mario 64 for sale, yeah you might want to be a little skeptical. If all they've ever sold is copies of Conker's, Sculptor's Cut, or Super Bowling, again, you might want to take another look. And now, let's look at some physical cartridges. And to do that, I'm going to pass it over to Andrew. Now, if you've been buying and selling retro games for a while, certain things will stick out to you like a sore thumb. So, the first thing we need to look at is a label. If you've been handling games for 10 plus years, it's very obvious that this one is a fake. But, if you're new to collecting and don't have an original one with you to compare them to, this one might not seem so obvious. Take a look at this one and see how different the colors look compared to the original. The colors on a reproduction cartridge tend to have a much higher contrast and thus stick out when compared to an original cartridge. Now, certain labels can be harder to tell than others. For example, we have this copy of Pokemon Stadium 2. It looks fairly good. This could trick you in the wild if you don't have a picture of one to compare it to. Now, obviously, this one seems a little bit different. The real one is cropped very differently from the reproduction. Now I think we've looked at the front of the carts enough. It's time to look at the back. Okay, on the back we have four things to look for. The first is a combination of letters and numbers that is stamped into the cartridge. This is called a machine stamp and as you can see, it is nowhere on the back of the reproduction cartridge. The next thing we should take a look at is the Nintendo logo. See how the eye is clearly dotted with a square and the registered trademark is clear and visible. On the reproduction, the eye is clearly dotted with a circle and the registered trademark does not look quite right. The third thing we wanna take a look at is the screws holding the cartridge together. The OEM Nintendo screws will have a circular head with the edge trimmed away. The reproduction screws will still have this edge and it will often be hexagonal. And the last thing we have to look at on the back is the label itself. Notice that the font is clearly different between the two cartridges. And again, much like with the front, this one has a very different color. This is all well and good, but the best way to tell if you have a reproduction cartridge is to open it. Now, once you get inside a cart, it's hard for me not to just say, well, one of these is clearly better made than the other. The differences are astounding. Poor soldering, ugly chips, and even a battery that's in the wrong place. And the last thing to keep an eye out for is this lovely Nintendo logo printed on the board. If that's not there, chances are your cartridge is a fake. We hope these tips will be useful for anyone trying to spot fake games in the wild. And from all of us at Retro Game Trader to you, have a wonderful day.